What's up everybody, Matt McCoy here from loopcommunity.com. I just finished installing Ableton Live 9, the beta version, on my computer and I wanted to show you a really cool new feature of Live 9 and that has to do with converting audio clips to MIDI. So I'm going to show you how this works. I have a harmony clip here. This is a string part that has multiple notes playing at once. Let me just play it for you so you can hear it. So this isn't just a simple melody. There's multiple notes playing in this audio clip. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna right click on that clip and go to convert harmony to new MIDI track. And it's gonna analyze that audio clip. And when it's done processing, it's going to add a MIDI track and a MIDI clip and uh, with all of the notes that are contained within that audio clip. It's pretty cool. Check this out. All right, now that it's done processing, you can see it added a MIDI track. And let's double click on that MIDI clip. And we can see that it uh, drew in some MIDI information all folded up so we can see a little bit more clear. Let's listen to what it sounds like. Cool. So it picked up some lower artifacts down here that we don't need, so I'm going to just highlight and delete all of them. And uh, let's see what it sounds like. I can even bring in the other one with it. So you can see it's in the, even in the same key, and it's really close to the original. So now that it's broken up into MIDI data, we can actually throw any instrument we want. So under, uh, I'm going to throw an operator on there. We'll put a glide lead. Pretty cool. Now we can customize it all that we want. You could even change how the parts played. I mean, the possibilities are endless at this point. So that's pretty cool. So let me show you now also then what you can do about a, a melody line. So I have a bass part. That's a melody line. Let me uh, play it for you. So this is single notes in an audio clip. Just your standard bass line. So now what we're going to do with this one is I'm going to right click and go to convert melody to new MIDI track. And uh, this will work if the audio part is just a single note being played at once. So it's going to analyze it. When it's finished analyzing, it's going to, again, create a MIDI track with a MIDI clip. And we'll be able to manipulate it to our heart's content. Okay. So now that's done, let's go ahead and listen to what we've got. It even added an analog instrument. That sounds like the bass, which is pretty cool. And here's the part that it played. And you could throw audio effects on that. You could throw a different instrument on there if you wanted. Let's put that glide lead on there again. So the possibilities with that are really endless. Um, just like Live 8, you can, with a drum clip, um, you can convert a drum clip to MIDI by just right-clicking, go to Convert Drums to New MIDI Track, and that'll throw it in a drum rack for you. But I just wanted to show you that new feature of Live 9. That's pretty awesome. Hope everyone's doing well. Take care.